Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can get your Fire TV or your Vid Stick from Bus TV or you have a Xiaomi Stick showing on your Windows PC. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop or computer. Now remember you can process the same thing using your Linux or in this case your Mac PC. The steps are exactly the same. On top of that, there is a little HDMI video capture card that we have purchased from Amazon. And this will bring 1080p maximum resolution in. And this will be very, very useful for you to play with. So you do not have to get your power from outside. And you can just connect it to your laptop or computer USB to get everything as one piece. I do not want to forget it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We'll have to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the, click the like button. It really motivates us to make these steps videos quickly with a little more detail every time. So first thing first, we will go in connect everything one by one. So you can see this is my HDMI capture card. Now the best part about this little device is that this is your video capture card. This is how you're going to get your picture on your computer screen. So it is very nice and small. And again, the price is really nice too. You can see that it has an HDMI in. Going around, there's nothing here. You have one USB connection. And going on the other side, there's nothing there. When you look in the bottom, it just says who created it. And if you look in the front, it says input and also says output. And there's no other connection for you to get power. Everything is done by the USB once you connect it. So we will walk you through step by step on how you can connect this to get your picture on your computer. And then I'm going to use this laptop that we have. It's Asus. It is roughly about four to five years old. And we just have to make sure that it is Windows 10 updated to the latest version and get all the updates so that we do not have to have any problem. And then go on the side of it. On one side, I have two USBs. So I'm going to use that part. And one side, I have the HDMI connection. And also I have the USB plus I have LAN connection on that side. So go ahead and connect your Fire Stick to your HDMI USB capture card. Once that is done, make sure you connect that little micro USB to Fire Stick. You have to hook it up to the computer. Once that is done, then grab your USB. For the power, you have to hook it up to the USB portion of your laptop. In this case, I am using a laptop. Now, how do you get it on the screen? Just follow along. So go into your browser. Once the browser comes up, go into your search and search for OBS download and press enter. It takes you here. And then the first one that comes up, we'll talk about obsproject.com. We will click on it and it will take you to the screen. Now over here, you can see that this is compatible to Windows, Mac and Linux. The one that we need is for Windows. Now, if you want to install it on your Mac, make sure that you do run 10.13 plus. So that means it's if you have roughly about 10 years old laptops, or in this case, Mac PC, make sure that you are on this and above in order to make it work. And Windows, make sure that you have Windows 8 and above to make it work. So click on it and let it go through to download. And there you go. I start getting the download. Now we will wait for this to be done. This part depends on the connection of your internet on how fast it will go through. And I am sure that most of you have a really fast internet to get this very quickly done. And once it is done, and then you can click on it. I will minimize this, this browser. And there you go. This is what you should see. Click yes. And then you're going to say next. And then we're going to just install it on C drive. This is we always going to install. It will tell you how much space is required, how much is available and click on install. Now again, this part is all how fast your computer is. And not to bore you guys, we will fast forward some of these scenes. There you go. Once it's done, you will get this part that says we want it to launch. We're going to leave that little check mark and click finish. So as soon as it comes up, you will get a little page. It will tell you exactly how this will function. Now you can click next, next till you get to this part. Now, once you're here, it's very simple. Just Look at it. This is the main screen. And then you have a few little parts which say scenes and then source. 
source is where we're going to add our picture. So for that, you're going to click on this little plus sign. And since we already connected our capture card, we will go to video capture device and select it. And we will leave the name there and click OK. And then you will see there's a little part that says USB video and we will select it. And voila, it's changed. Now that's not, not the only part. If you scroll down, you will get little parts about the custom audio. So we will select that and then scroll down and it will tell you what interface you have. So it says digital USB and it says microphone on high tack. We will leave this on the USB so that way we can get the voice out of it and we will select OK. All right, so the next step that we're going to go through is going to be under settings, select it, wait for it to come up and here you go. We will go to audio and once you select that under advanced, make sure there's a little check mark, scroll down and select the speakers and that's it and then say apply and press OK. And then the next step is going to be the desktop audio. We will go to this little settings, advanced audio properties, select that. And then over here, the last one, it says HDMI capture device. There you go. And in this part, we will leave it the same. But this part, it says monitor off. We will select and then we will select a monitor and output. You can use whichever one you want, but I like this one. Once it's all done, click close. And that's it. You're done. Now to test it out, you can probably hear it that I am selecting the screen. And that's it. Now, in order to make this full screen, go to your scenes and right click on it and then go to full screen and select the ATV. And voila, now you're full screen. So now you will be able to play with your devices very, very easily. And this is how it's all done. Now, I have to mention that the same setup is going to be done with your other devices. Now, it's very simple to play with these. I have to again mention that this is not something a rocket science. You do not need anybody to install it for you. Just follow this video step by step and you will be able to play with this easily. Now, this is only with one device. Now, if I have to switch this with another device, as I'm showing you right now, that I am playing with the Fire Stick using my laptop in front of it, it's very simple. Now, we're going to connect our vid stick. Now for that, make sure you press escape to get out of this and close the app itself in order to go next. So now we're going to disconnect the actual part, take it out, and then go ahead and connect your TV box in this case, and then connect it back. And then we're going to connect it back. So now we will go to start and OBS should be first one on the list. It will take a couple of seconds for it to load. And here you go. This is how easy it is to go into the screen and now you can play with it again. So for that, we already have the sound available for it. What we need to do is make it full screen again. So we're going to go to scenes, select full screen projector and then select it. And now we have full screen on your computer so you can use your remote as I'm showing you on the screen right now, and you can play with it very easily. And that's how easy it is to go next with something like Vit Stick. And now if we want to connect our Xiaomi box, it's very easy. Again, press escape, use your mouse to close the app. And we have to take the capture card out, disconnect the stick and go ahead and grab your Xiaomi stick and make sure that you're connecting it properly. There you go. And now let's go through and connect it over here. And now let's reconnect it to the USB. So make sure you're connecting the USB properly. And here you go. Now let's go back and launch. Now once you connect it, go ahead and open up your app. So we're going to go to start. And we're going to go back into OBS. Now you do have to close the app and reopen it in order to have access to this. Except that you're going to not be able to see some of the part of the screen or it's going to freeze up. So in order to fix it, close the OBS and then reopen it. Now again, this just came up. So we will go to scenes, right click. Now go to your full screen projector and select it. And voila, now you have full screen for this. 
So go ahead, grab your remote, and then you can go through and select, and you can play with this. As simple as that. See, it's so easy to process using the capture card, which it doesn't cost that much. It is available on Amazon. Links are going to be available in the bottom so that we can purchase one of them. This is how perfect it is to go ahead and have full screen streaming device on your laptop or on your computer. So you do not have to go next and purchase a huge amount of money towards your new monitor. If you don't have one, use your computer monitor or your laptop so you can play with it. There is a lot of these devices available, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a really good link for you guys so you can purchase and get this capture card. It's very cheap. It's under $20 Canadian in order to get it. Now, I'm going to leave a link for United States if it's available and also the Canadian one underneath this. If you guys do want this for around the world, do ask. We will provide you a proper link. This way, it's going to help our channel up and everything should be working. Except that, just press escape. How easy it is to process to have your streaming device on your laptop or computer. This is really good for students and also for people that just have one device and they just want to do some work. And once the work is done, you do not have to get out of your house or go downstairs to do more. This way you can watch your streaming device directly on it. I know you can get an emulator, but this way you have your proper a streaming device like Fire Stick or Vid Stick from Bus TV or Xiaomi Sticks. This way you already spent some money. Let's use it and you don't have to spend over two, three hundred dollars to get another TV. Spend about 15 bucks and you're set. So I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.